a bit of a roller coaster ride for you, right? I mean, you stepping in on the last minute against what, you know, the biggest name on the card in terms of Irish MMA. I mean, tell us how all this happened. A roller coaster ride is the perfect way to describe it. What a wave of emotions, right? Um, so, kind of funny the way it happened. Uh, Tuesday night. Last Tuesday night, I got a text message from my old manager, Jason Carvel, who told me, hey man, uh, James Gallagher doesn't have an opponent, I'm going to reach out to Bellator for you. Like I said, he's my ex-manager, hasn't been working with me for the last three years, so I just said I'd love to fight that guy, and then he goes, well, I'm going to reach out, and then I just uh, hit him with the LOL, because I didn't think anything was going to come from him, obviously, and then cut to 6 a.m. the next morning, I'm getting a call from Jason Carvel, and I answer the phone. I like, do you got this fight so <laughs> I mean he must have made a couple of calls or I don't know what kind of voodoo he played out there but he, he definitely got me the fight he goes tell me you're gonna take it I went and jumped on a scale I said all right cool we could do this man this is manageable in a week and I told him yes so here I am we could go today I was accepting this fight and what, what an amazing situation man it really is <laughs> Tell me you're not paying two managers fees for this fight. <laughs> Honestly, I would pay one manager fee for this fight since he found me the fight, right? But uh, yeah, it's pretty crazy. I really is. I reached out to my management company, Sucker Punch Entertainment. I was like, man, like, I don't know how this came about, but I couldn't turn it down. They completely understood. They, they, they get it, you know, it's all business at the end of the day. And it's just great. <laughs> Break down the fight for us. Obviously, you know, James Gallagher, he's a, he's a big name. He's going to have 9,500 screaming Irishmen cheering him on on fight night. How are you going to get this one done? Well, I mean, it's all about composure. It really is. It's about staying composed and, and winning those big moments. I have noticed that, uh, you know, James comes out heavy, comes out hot. He gets other fighters. He's fighting really emotional with all his antics, putting his hands up, clapping in front of them, getting them drawn in everything that's happening. And they, fighters, you know, kind of lose sight of what they're really working for and want to hurt him more than win a fight. It's kind of funny, like, whenever I watch them fight James, like, they, they, they truly dislike him as they're fighting him and you know that's the one thing you can't do you can't fight angry you just can't do it because it, it, it fogs your vision and that's the last thing you want to happen especially with an opponent as crafty as James so all he needs is one mistake to hop on your back and, and choke, choke the life out of you he really is so it's just about staying composed picking my moments wrestling whenever he thinks I want to strike striking whenever he thinks I want to wrestle and just making him earn every position have you had any interactions with James since you've been here? just one um, shook his hand yesterday while we were both grabbing some coffee. He thanked me for taking the fight. I thanked him for the opportunity as well and here we are. <laughs> Brilliant. And uh, what's the situation with regards to Bellator contract? They're giving you one fight, multi-fight? What's the situation? Uh, they gave me a multi-fight deal. Yeah, so I'm going to come in here. It's a two-fight option. So for sure I'm going to fight twice for Bellator and then from there it's up to me what I'm going to do, where, where I want to go, if I want to stay. I will say they've uh, definitely taken care of me the whole time I've been here. Great company. Definitely a dream come true fighting for Bellator. Brilliant. And uh, last one. Give us a prediction. How's this, how are you going to end up getting your hand raised on that Friday night? Man, whether I knock him, I choke him, or I just get my hand raised by decision, my only prediction is my hand's going to be like this whenever I'm done with the fight. That's it. <laughs>